Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and it's time for another story. Because it's a time for another... It's the only series I do that technically has two dial two titles. It's Day in the Life <laughs> of Wokey, who's going to tell you a story. And I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. Because this one's actually very important, because we're going to talk about uh, last year when I decided... When we decided, I should say. it was. I think it technically was you who started the idea... The idea being, let's do a Christmas special, and then also bring in everyone from old Modcast days and Mod days, and do basically a big Christmas send-off. And that was over a year ago, and we thought about it. You, th I think you, yeah, but that's what we're gonna end up talking about. This one it has a lot to go through. If you haven't seen the video, which is by the way the Frosty the Snowman Modcast special, um, either it's because you didn't see it, or one, it was blocked in your country because unfortunately <laughs> Frosty the Snowman is not in the public domain <laughs> like we thought when we started. <laughs> yeah, well, I could have sworn it was. I could have sworn it was too. It's like, damn, Rank and Bash, you let it fall into copyright, right? That sounds like you. <laughs> but no, <laughs> they were like, we're protecting fucking Frosty. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> But there is also a Vimeo link if it is uh, blocked for you. So if you actually go into the video and you check the um, the description for it, you should find a Vimeo link. And thankfully, Vimeo doesn't give a fuck. So <laughs> you can find it there as well. But yeah, this started almost uh, a year ago. I forget what was the exact reasoning for it, but I think you were talking about Christmas specials because it was around Christmas time, which would be accurate to why we did it can you remember exactly when i can try uh, and find man. the tweet but i don't remember the exact reason I, we said something was it about i, we, I think we literally just talked about uh christmas specials in general because wasn't someone talking shit on rudolph that sounds like I, something. i think so yeah and then we defended christmas specials and then we were like it would be funny to make one and then yeah. one of us one of us made the joke like oh we should totally do that like not expecting to do it and then the other one was like no we're doing <laughs> we are 100 percent doing it but then it was like well if we're gonna do this we should do a full-on special and um uh we should do a full-on special and like have everyone in there from like old modcast days and bring them in see if we can get as many as we can to agree even though at this point it had been so long like at this the it, it, it the since to be released which is the last the last to be released that had more than just me and you in it um was over three years ago because around three years ago that is when i lost the house and i lost the ability to be able to communicate with all the people around the world because uh everyone in the modcast if you did not know this lives in fucking different time zones <laughs> Yeah, like call that is the unfortunate reality of uh, trying to do big things like this, is that nobody lives in the same place. It's real tough. Like, uh, like for example, Cole lives in England, and then there's another person from England as well who is and somehow, I think, in a different part of England. So he even they have, like, I think Valley also has, like, a different time zone from Cole, even though they both come from England. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, and then even the people who live here in America were so spread apart that it's like hours in between. And then we had fucking Penta, who was in the army. Yeah, literally so, in the army at the time. Yeah, he was doing, I think it's, is it called conscription? It's whatever the, whatever, it's one of the, you know, the countries where everyone has to do it for like a year yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like they they tore down Penta's w w house walls and said, you better get the fucking work. No, he wasn't drafted. It was, uh, it's one of those, it's like compulsory service, I think is what it's called. Yes, yes. Um, I'm trying to look for the specific thing. Funny enough, last year, because again, this happened a year ago. You did end up getting a recommendation in November where it was like they, they recommended you Modcast 29 out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so we ended up deciding to do this and i think we ended up picking frosty i think it ended up being we knew that we wanted to do a short special so i think it was between frosty and rudolph and the reason we didn't pick rudolph it was was that there wasn't enough characters in it to yeah there was only like six characters in rudolph yeah, so we had to do a very unfortunate thing, which is, here's how it basically worked out, is that we needed not a lot of main characters, 
so that not we wouldn't need too many things from too many people. But we also needed a lot of characters. I mean, yeah, we needed a lot of characters that say one to two things. Yes, and were easily indistinguishable, so it could be basically anyone. Uh -huh. And so that's how we ended up getting on to Frosty. And once we got onto Frosty, what happened is, is that I watched the entire special. I did a full, and while I was watching it, I was taking literal lines from it. So some of the original Frosty the Snowman lines are actually in the special. Yeah, <laughs> there's there's multiple lines. I actually still have the script bookmarked. I have it really? pulled up right now. That's funny. Um, the, uh, there's multiple lines in here that are uh, just straight up, other than because the song is unchanged. The song is exactly the same song. Yes. Um, and then there's other lines that are just straight up the lines from Frosty. Yeah, it's... Sometimes they were just so good and so good out of context that there was just similar to like I guess Yu-Gi-Oh Bridge whenever he got to a, like whenever Lil Kuribo got to a very good line there was no reason to change it. <laughs> it's uh -huh. still it's still yeah. Funny. One of the best ones is when they're building the snowman, and one of us says, "Hey, mind giving us the head?" And then the little girl says, "The head is the most difficult part. <laughs> Ask anyone." Real dialogue from Frosty. <laughs> Yeah, it's so fu it's so funny seeing Frosty. Like, I, me and you both love Christmas special, which is, which is why this works. Is that we both have a appreciation for the fine art of a good Christmas special. But that line fucking killed me when I was singing it again. So yeah, that's how the writing process was. Is I was watching Frosty and at the exact same time writing what I think would be a good like funny version of it. Finished that off, sent it to Zen, said, "Here's what I think. What do you think?" And then you did another draft of it, and you made some more jokes, you did some tweaks, did some things changed, and then sent it to me, and then I finalized it, and then we started the process, which is the very long process of asking people. So when we originally did this, we did not ask anyone. <laughs> yeah, we, we did it out of order. <laughs> Where we made the script first. And uh, the original draft of the script, so the way the script works is we have the role... And then in parentheses, we have who is voicing the role. And the original script was literally just a name, and every single name for the voice had a question mark after it, because we had yes. not asked anyone. So originally, the way it was going to be is that... Um, originally, Zen was just going to be the narrator, and he ends up playing the villain in the in the special, which is... Yeah, this... I'm the narrator and the, the magician. Yeah, this guy right here. Originally, Coley was actually supposed to voice him, and we just couldn't get him in time. Because, yeah, again, we couldn't, because his schedule, he, well, because he's in England, so he's yeah. five hours minimum ahead of me. Yeah. And so, he did like, have, yeah, his uptime, I'm, like, in the middle of the day, and then he is asleep by the time I'm at uptime. It's just a nightmare. Yeah, it was a full-on nightmare. So, and because it was such an important role, it was one of those ones where we had to actually sit down with the person and kind of record him we didn't have to yeah do it we with couldn't we them. couldn't take like an audacity line over discord you had to like do takes and stuff yeah yeah exactly um and it was super tough like the people who like for example when i asked so of the people asked the only people that could not do it were one coley the other one was hope because she's busy she's a she's a nurse and you know doing all that stuff but i did ask her if you were uh, wondering and uh, JX, who JX also was like, I, <laughs> J JX is an internet exile, so I very much appreciated. He said, I thank you very much, but I kind of want to stay away from this kind of stuff. And I said, you know what, dude? I totally appreciate it. Thank you for the answer back. And he said, thank you for uh, thinking of me at least, remembering that I was a mod. <laughs> Which is really what this whole thing was boiled down to. But I'm surprised that we were able to get as many people as we can. Because the, the, since you have the script, can you bring down who exactly everyone's in it? Because even I sometimes cannot remember absolutely everyone who is in it. Because <laughs> yeah, there's just yeah. so, so many so people. We had the narrator, who was me. Mm -hmm. uh, Frosty was you. That's Karen me. was Violet. Uh, the school teacher is D Free. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the the evil magician is also me, and then basically every kid was a different one. So we had Vali, Rohan, Toast, Penta, uh, Demayo, um, Common, Zahal. Yeah, I think actually that this I, Frosty special is the first time anyone's ever heard Zahal speak. I, I think so. Yeah, I had never heard him speak before I got his lines. No, we had never heard him. Because he, he, he was always someone who... Uh, oh, we Renzi doing, was like, in it, too. That's right, Renzi. I asked Renzi. Renzi was the cop that oh sells him the tickets. <laughs> he, he was two characters. He was the cop. Yeah, that's right. He was right. the ticket vendor. 
Yeah. Oh man, I wish I could find. I I may have gotten rid of Renzi's original lines, but Renzi. So some people had to because they were just like one or two lines. I told them to record them themselves, and then I'll use them. For Renzi's line, I really should have, even though he only had two lines, I really should have directed him through it, because he was doing it, and it's so funny, because I think it's like three, his his lines are like maybe uh, ten seconds combined, but his actual recording file is maybe a minute or two, and a lot of it is him going like, oh man, I sound so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> just him beating himself up and then laughing oh, at and, himself. Uh, oh, I forgot one because he doesn't come until the very end. Uh, Conal is Santa. That's right. Conal is Santa as well. Conal also got voice right. There's also some pretty good stuff from Conal as well, which I I wish I could find that audio where you're explaining to him how exactly it's going to work. And I think you said, yeah, Wokey's editing it all. He's like, Wokey's editing it at all. You go, uh, he's like, uh, <laughs> by himself? <laughs> It is like, yes, I... <laughs> He's like, yeah, I guess so. He's like, oh, good luck with that. <laughs> he was very much surprised. He's like, and you can see why. So here's the file as it is now. From minute one, it's a 15-minute special. Here is all the editing that had to be done for it. This long sequence of nothing is because it is the title intro. And you can see So here. yeah, you could just let it run. Yeah. Oh, actually, here's the credits. See, because it's narrated by Zen. Starring DeMeo, Common, Lucifer Valley, Venta, Rohan, Toaster Fun, Zahal as the Mod Kids, as I call them here. Starring Veal Bunny as Karen, me as Frosty the Snowman, you as Professor Dokon. That's right, his name was Professor Dokon! <laughs> Professor Dokon was the bad guy, yeah. Santa Claus. <laughs> and then special guest, uh, Renzi D. Free. And we found a way to get the dolphin noise in. That was also last second, because uh -huh. I realized I had made the script <laughs> and I did not include the dolphin noise. And uh, sung by the Mimi Force. So here's a fun thing I actually forgot because my friends from the Mimi Force, um, uh, Jace and Captain Soldier 76, were going to sing the song. But here's another thing is that when you don't actually, when you, this entire thing was made in basically a month. When you look at this entire thing, and then by the way, this is uh, only audio four, there's more audio. <laughs> I think it was that this actual project was less than a month if you count just the editing because we it took us i think two weeks to just get everybody's lines yes just to get everyone's lines and to do all so that I, stuff. I think you did all of this between like december 10th and christmas eve yes and i worked my fucking ass off to release this thing i think you even were like dude do you need me to help edit in because you were like it was coming close to it and i was like going like dude i'm i'm driving myself insane with this frosty stuff <laughs> And you're like, do you need my help? And I was like, no, I think I got it. I will finish it by December 25th. And I thankfully was able to. But originally, so here's the thing that I didn't realize is that when I told the Mimi Force, can you please sing Frosty the Snowman? It was supposed to be a kind of, not a duet, but like they're singing at the same time, uh, Captain Soldier 76 and Jace. And in my head, I was like, well, I'll just put the two audios together and great. Completely forgetting the fact that there are multiple versions of this song, and when I told them sing the Frosty song, ah. they both looked up like an instrumental for it, and the the <laughs> cadence for it, a lyrical video, both of them in two different tempos. So <laughs> I had to unfortunately cut um, Captain Soldiers because at a certain point I lost like three days trying to sync his audio with Jace's. And I had to apologize to him, I'm like, dude, I'm, I had to ask you to sing this, and I can't use yours because it's out of tempo with <laughs> the snowman, <laughs> and there's no time because we're getting close to Christmas, and I said, dude, I'm, I apologize. If we ever do another Christmas special, I promise that I'll actually think about it next time. <laughs> and he's like, dude, it's I'll okay. I'll plan ahead next time. I'll plan ahead next time. And, um, yeah, so we, we did that. Um... Which is really, I always, I felt so bad about it, but it was like, at some point, like, dude, if I don't, if I have to ask him to do this all again, I don't know how he's, if he's available or not, and it's going to be a real pain in the ass. Now, here's another thing, because I, we didn't do it until it happened, but I think this is my favorite sequence, so speaking of dolphin noise, I actually snuck in another reference to Modcast, which was, I don't think in the original script, but while I was editing, I said, shit, we should do this. I think, anyway, it is, no, it is... Uh, is it this sequence? Yes, it is this sequence where S Frosty dies and we play the podcast goodbye song, which is the Bear of the Big Blue House. Uh, it's time <laughs> for a goodbye song. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, I'm being very careful just to make sure I don't avoid it. But yeah, here. Let me see if I can play it a little bit here at least. I'll put away this. Oh, let me see. Can you hear it? Oh, for some reason I can't hear coming from this for some reason. Is the audio... Yeah. Damn. I don't know why it's not working there. But yeah, the idea was at the last second put in... Oh, you know why? Because it can't find it. There, there was some video, some files that were missing. This must be one of the uh, missing file songs. Um, but yeah, I ended up putting this in because it was just too funny, the idea. And this is also a modcast reference because Eddie, every time someone stopped being a mod, I would put a bunch of like fake Photoshop pictures of them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it started with, was it you? Were you the first one? No, it must have been you. It was either you or Toast. I forget who had it first. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. I wasn't the first one. Um, Must have been Toast. I know I think Vio ended up getting one as well. I think almost everyone got one until... A lot of people got one, yeah. Uh, yeah, there were a lot. There was a lot of... You could probably find a compilation of all... Well, you can't find a compilation of all of them because I'd have to make it. But you could probably make one. Um, the only reason it stopped is when I stopped being a mod, so I couldn't do it anymore. Um... The fuck was I saying? But yeah, so I included that at the last second because I thought it was just so funny. And it was a good reference to the actual modcast. Like, it, this was such a deep cut to specifically the people who enjoyed modcast. Yeah, that's literally all this was for. This is all this was for. It was really a, a, a ton of fun to kind of go back for it. Uh, here's the other fun thing because it relates to Sahal. So we got Sahal's Lions. And I think around this time is when the sub exploded. <laughs> It, like, happened right at the same time, the time where we were like, Zahal, can you do the sign? He said, yeah, of course. It was around the time that he got kicked off of being a mod for the, all that weird drama started. Oh, yeah, when uh, the, the owner of the sub went absolutely fucking crazy. Yeah, for whatever reason, you know, not to start things again with Fish, but, you know, Fish went, <laughs> Fish made decisions. Fish, that's why, yeah, this... That was the the weirdest fucking oh my god yeah it was, that was such a clusterfuck it, it was a real clusterfuck and then things finally kind of dialed down and uh, he's still a mod there now and I think things are better now in quotes as far as the you know as far as a, a subreddit <laughs> can be yeah as good as a subreddit can get I suppose yeah you know to be fair not to talk shit on people that we don't know what's going on there but just in general you know subs are subs <laughs> we yeah, worked the, on one the subreddits are always you know yeah um but anyway what all that stuff do? started and i wasn't even sure if he was going to be able to do it and at a certain point i was like i feel like god is testing me because really <laughs> he you feel like he's just decided to fuck with the hall to mess with this big fucking mod thing that we had planned our hubris was all coming down to it but thankfully it ended up being um, not too much of a problem at all. Well, th the problem was solved, and he was able to get our lines in, and it was pretty good. And that was the first time anyone had ever heard his accent. And I think he plays like the little kid. I think that was another reference is that we got him to say the Super Vegito stuff because <laughs> Super Vegito yes, is such a... we got him to say Super Vegito sucks. <laughs> yeah, so th this little fucking kid. I think the, so all the mod kids are interchangeable about who's voice and who. So Hall always voices this tiny kid. <laughs> I think <laughs> just because it's like, all right, we got to give them. But every other there's one is one kind point, of. There's one point also where we make the joke about that's why nobody listens to your opinion. Yeah. And that one I gave to Mayo because that was the most Mayo sounding <laughs> line of any. This is why we don't. <laughs> Everyone in general did a really good job. It was uh, it was amazing. So the people who didn't have uh, us specifically get them on the booth, which are right here. Right here, right here. So, Mayo, I think the second I asked him, he said, you got it. And he immediately recorded it. It was fucking great. He asked if there needed to be any changes, and I said no. So here's the best. Oh, man, I really should find the clip of it. Because I think in the script, there are multiple instances where it just says, kids freak the fuck out for snow. Yes. <laughs> and so I asked here, every... Wait, do you want me to link you the script? I have it up right yes, now. Yes, if, if you could real quick. I think I have it somewhere, but I there was just so much for me to look at that. There we go. Um, yeah, this is the original one with everything. So yeah, there's just like a whole bunch of them seeing like, oh yeah, woo, snow, mod kids, oh yeah, snow. But there's even another instance in the beginning of the special where they're all just looking outside going like, oh my god, it's snowing. Various mods are super happy looking at snow. <laughs> 
So I had to tell them, like, um, the only one direction I gave for that, because they're like, this is kind of vague. What, what do you want from this specifically? And I said, listen, man, you just really fucking love the snow. Go nuts. And I think all of them kind of did their own permeation of like, oh my god, it's snow. I think Pentas is the funniest because he's like, oh my god, it's snow is everywhere. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone did a really good job looking at this. I think Toast also goes like, oh my god, yeah, snow, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's literally all, like, just played over top of each other, too. Yeah, in this intro scene, you can try and hear absolutely <laughs> everyone doing it, because there's just so many. Via also does it as well. Everyone but, I think, me, you, and Connell and D-Free do the snow freak out. Mm-hmm. But I have yeah. so much audio of them specifically freaking out over snow. I think Common was the one who sent multiple takes, because he's just like, I wanted to kind of give it different directions to see which one it works best. And I said, Common... You do what you think needs to be done best. I will gladly work with it. <laughs> but he was you do super, you, my friend. You do you, my friend. Get to it. I will gladly do it. I think Luce, uh, Valley was the same way where he's like, uh, let me go. Oh, yeah, his is really good. because He's like, oh, my God, snow. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I love absolutely everyone who did it. The, the other great, great, great thing about this is that everyone has various mic qualities, so it really comes into a perfect crescendo. And all that had to be edited, which is why this audio file is like seven deep, is because I had to put all of them kind of interchangeable together, and it's very hard to keep track of it. So that one, like for like that three seconds of everyone kind of freaking out about snow that we have... Uh, to actually edit it was a pain in the ass. Because <laughs> it needed to fit a specific uh, parameters, which is from here to here. And then that's basically it. And it was... it. it you would think, like, oh, a couple seconds of work, that shouldn't be too hard. I think this was, like, an entire day. Me trying to do this <laughs> took an entire day. <laughs> to get the timing Jesus. right. Jesus. Yeah, to get the timing right and everything. The other part that was really hard was this part right here. This is, like, so editing intensive. When he takes the dragon stone, he throws it in, and he gets a fucking rare go on. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also in the script that he gets these uh, these Gohans. <laughs> and no one is impressed. Oh, man. What is the name of this bunny? I think we gave him a name in the script, right? In the script, he's, he's just LR Gohan. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he's oh. just LR Gohan the whole time. We also included a, vo a voice line for LR Gohan in this, I think, somewhere in here. <laughs> That's right, he is LR Gohan. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I think later on I do... Now I remember, I remember now. I think it's for this part right here, which is another part that is, I think, missing. Uh, I actually don't know if it made it into the script or not, now that I look at it. Right here, yes. Okay, so when he's talking... He uses specific LR. It's like a clip of L of Gohan talking, <laughs> as he's explaining. Because in the original Frosty the Snowman, he's like doing a bit and he's trying to explain to everyone. And in here, I think I just put in a bunch of Gohan quotes, and <laughs> that plays over the bunny talking. It's such a dumb joke for the setup. Is that his name is LR Gohan, and then when he's actually talking, we make him sound like Gohan in some ways. Um. Man, there's a lot of just bits. Real Foxy the Snowman dialogue right here with Vio. Um, so yeah, for, in terms of the people who had to be voice directed, uh, let's go. No, actually, this is the last one because it's D-Free. So the reason I got D-Free in here is that I think D-Free is actually very important to the modcast. I think he is the most frequent guest of any modcast. Um, yeah, I think he, I think, yeah, I think D-Free is number one. Followed up by, I think, Alex was the second. And then Rhyme and Nano are tied with the the other guests because they both only had one. Uh, even though Nano's one is, I think, one of the best episodes of Modcast ever. That's the one where I say, uh, uh, Herchaluk, Heihachi, the, 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 from, uh, Attack of the Saiyans. What is his name? Hachiak? Hachiak, yeah. That's where I, I said Hachiak looks like a KKK member. Because... <laughs> Because of his pointy ass head? Yeah, because of his pointy ass head. And then I think you said, do you have an edit of Hachiak looking like a KKK member? And I said, uh, maybe. And then I actually put up an edit right at that point of him, <laughs> like, 
<laughs> wearing a clan's headman. Like, it shows up for a brief <laughs> moment. And then I think the, the way we end that conversation, I said, like, hey, his plan is to eradicate the Saiyans. His ain't all that. It's not all that different from what they are. And then I think the reason the conversation ends is, is that you hear Nana go, wow. <laughs> and then we immediately <laughs> get off of the conversation. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It's such a good... You should really check that one out. It probably doesn't hold up anymore, but for that brief moment, it is really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so D-Free is one of the most important uh, guests for the Modcast in general. So when I thought of someone who would be a good like uh, person to kind of voice this character for just a little bit, I thought D-Free... And when we got when I got D free in, I told him very quickly. I said over DM, say, "Hey D free, do you want to do something for me real quick?" <laughs> He's like, well, "Yeah, sure. What do you?" I think he first says like, "What?" I think actually what I said is like, "Hey, do you want to voice something for a Christmas special we're doing with Frosty the Snowman? You would voice a teacher." Like I told him just straight out, "Here's what you're doing. No pussy putting around. This is what I need." And then he said, "Um, sure." <laughs> basically like okay how, <laughs> how much do you need from me and i said not a lot you just voice this teacher you just gotta voice these lines send them to me and you are good and he said okay i will do that gladly and that's why d free is such a good <laughs> dude to collab with because he is so down for basically anything <laughs> it's like all right let's do it <laughs> send me whatever so the, the teacher's lines are pretty good because it's him uh, voicing them and he's doing it himself and he's like doing multiple takes. He actually edits it because I do some of the his video edits for him. He actually treated it exactly like that. So he actually has instructions for me in the in the video, in the audio. <laughs> he's like, hmm, you know, cut that. Let me try again. Give a little different inflection. <laughs> Let's go. So he did a fantastic job doing the teacher. Like his scream is just so, he's like, <laughs> He's like so aggressive. Yeah, he's the... really good. I, a lot of these jokes that uh, that we wrote in here um, mm -hmm. were like workshops between the different takes, where we would like, you would send it to me with the joke written this way, I would send it back with it written a different way, and then we would keep doing that until we settled on one. Yes. And I had a lot of like when I when I wrote them, I had ways I expected them to sound when someone read them, and there's a few of these that are not read anything even close to what I had had in mind when they were made. And the end result is so much funnier. The joke where it is like, I think it's the last joke of the actual thing. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, Violet's character saying, don't leave me on the fucking roof. And it's because Frosty and Santa just dropped that little girl on the top of the roof. <laughs> they do. And in, in my head, I had it as her yelling like, hey, don't leave me on the fucking roof. But the way she delivers it is like she's not even mad. She's just like tired. She's like, don't leave me on the fucking roof. <laughs> and this shit sent me to the moon. Oh my god, yeah. I was expecting like a yelling like, come back. And it's almost like she reads it like, uh, don't leave me on the fucking roof. <laughs> Yeah, Vio did a great job as Karen. So that's one of the people. So the other characters that actually had people sit down and kind of talk about uh, Vio as Karen. I had her do multiple takes of certain lines and to see like, because in the beginning I was like, do it exactly how it's done and kind of in the inflection I would kind of want you to have. Um, but then afterwards, kind of feel it out, do it a little different, feel the free to change it up if you think it would make it more comfortable for you or do whatever. So I have like multiple, so some lines are different from the script from what is on there. Um, and the reason is, is because while we were recording, I started laughing, we started like changing it up, like for all the Karen and uh, Frosty dialogue together, a lot of that I think got like changed as we were like talking to each other. What what is I fucking let me see if I can find one of there's like a specific Frosty and Karen interaction where I did just something slightly different and Vio just started laughing and we had to redo the entire take all over again. <laughs> just because I think it was just like I hit her back with such a like a quick like fucking like snap back that she wasn't expecting it as Frosty. <laughs> let me see if I can find it. It's it's like a very quick like Oh, uh, the, here's this, and then uh, oh no, here it is. It was, but we're free to play. And he goes like, no, get. And then Renzi does his get lost, kid. Ain't no free summons here. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the best joke on jokes in the whole thing. <laughs> so when they they try to buy a ticket, she says she's free to play, so she can't. And he says to get the fuck out. Yeah, 
I think it was the line of guess I'll die. <laughs> it was a very quick like <laughs> Like my Frosty goes between being either the happiest man alive or just completely like ready to accept his death. Like the, the... <laughs> Uh, let me see. Oh no, it, it was the it was the ride me line. I think that was another one where I would scream, "Karen, ride me!" And then, and, and then she'd be like, uh, "I told her she you're getting weaker and weaker." So she'd be like phrasing. She's like, uh, uh, uh. "So I have multiple lines of her like super weak, going like, uh, yeah. Frosty, please, I'm dying." And I'm, another really good line from her. Is when Santa gives this long monologue about how Christmas snow never melts forever. And she just goes, I'm five years old and I just watched my friend die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember, here's the, here's the one. It's where Karen goes, what's wrong, Frosty? And she does a very concerning, what's wrong, Frosty? And then I go, snowman melt, you child. <laughs> <laughs> And she, she couldn't hold it in because I would just immediately go after her. Uh, that one had to take multiple takes, and <laughs> it was a it was a lot of fun doing the back and forth one. It ended up it, it when it came to actually editing though, finding the right dialogue for stuff was actually super tough. <laughs> it was very hard. Because uh, some takes were very good, and then some other ones. Uh, me having to edit my own voice was such a mistake. Because every single Frosty line, I was like, ah, God damn it. it was, I was like fighting back the urge to actually try and re-record it and try and doing it again. Oh, Knowing yeah, I bet. That's probably a nightmare. Yeah, it was a nightmare. And it was especially a nightmare because I'm not someone who can... Uh, emote when I'm by myself like when I'm talking to you like if I was if this was me talking about this video alone It'd be a lot of like uh, Yeah, so for this part everyone did really good and it was all great well, as opposed to when I'm with you I'm like, oh, yeah, we fucking nailed it, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's just my personality on it So be hearing back the frosty lines I was like at one point I really tried and I was like, let me try and get back that inflection I just couldn't like without VO there to play off of me. It was like fucking impossible to do anything um, so yeah, I have a lot of, like, Karen lines from, uh, Vio, and it's really great. I like all the ones where she's, like, dying, and she's, like, going, please, help, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I can't feel my toes. <laughs> I, it's so warm, it's so cold. <laughs> like, there's a lot of good lines of that one. I've, what was the hardest one? The one, the hardest one for her to do was actually the tears. She couldn't cry. I tried to tell her so hard, like, Vio, just, it's okay, you don't have to, just pretend to cry. It's like, how do I pretend to cry? <laughs> I was like, you can do it, come on. And then the other one was the hug noise. I said, okay, you need to make a hug noise. She's like, what? <laughs> you know, like, you're hugging, like, mmm. Yeah, just a good, just a good hug grunt. That one That's took a, a while, yeah, the hug grunt took a while for her to get as well. And I have a bunch of different, because she would just go, I don't think that this is working out well. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just a good, like, it's one of those. Yeah, mm, I would show her the video from A Boy in His Blob, where he goes, where he hugged, there's a hug button, and he would hug the blob, and he'd go, mm, and he'd do, like, a very warm hug. And I think when I showed her that, she's like, that's disturbing. I'm like, what's disturbing all the hug? <laughs> it's just an innocent hug. There's nothing wrong with the hug. But yeah, her as Karen, she had to do a, a lot of the work. I think she has the most... I think she might actually have the most lines out of anyone. It's either between her and Frosty, right? Uh, I think the most lines is Frosty, then her, and then me. Yeah, well, you have double duty because you're playing the well, narrator. Well, yeah, okay. If, if, you count, if you count both things that I do, I think I have the most lines. But if you mm -hmm. count per individual character, I think the third most lines are the, the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, it would it'd probably go that way. And then it's Santa, and then it's the teacher, and then it's kind of everyone else interspersed, like having various things of uh, stuff like that. And um, so you actually got to record Connell for his Santa stuff. How was that? It was good. It was really good. He was actually surprisingly good about it because we would uh, 
We will not, not like he's an asshole, but I mean like. No, he's great. He's a great he's dude. He's a great guy. Yeah, I don't mean surprisingly good like I was expecting him to suck, but I mean like uh, we, he would read it through and then I'd be like, all right, let's, you know, let's aim a little bit more in this direction for this one. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. And we, we did it pretty quick. I think we got it. Most of his lines probably got it in two or three takes. He didn't really have any ones that were bad, but there were some <laughs> where he was reading them and he was like, what am I supposed to be saying here? <laughs> the uh the whole exchange where um he has to react to violet saying i'm five years old and i just watched my friends die and his next line is yeah well <laughs> watch this <laughs> <laughs> and he had to like, it took a minute to be like what am i saying to this grieving child <laughs> <laughs> It is really funny because that's kind of what he does in the special where he's just like, yeah, it's what he does. Oh, man, you know what? I just realized we should have made him go ho, ho, ho instead of ha, ha, ha. Oh, we should have. Because then we would have at least had audio of Kono going ho, ho, ho. Watch this. (laughs) And then Christmas magic shows up and Frosty gets revived. If I had more chance to it, I was going to, I think, put in a stone revive. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, and if we had done this a year later, I would have done uh, the revival mechanic, which is in Dokkan now, which is when the character dies, they get brought back. But that would have been <laughs> if it was modern day, you know. Right. Back in a year ago, that didn't exist. But yeah, Co- uh, Conel Asanto is uh, great. When I got that uh, stuff back, it was I was actually kind of surprised how e- efficient everything was because I think the files between me and Vio were an hour of us going back and forth. And I think also when we recorded together for our stuff, it was close to an hour. Yeah, it was. Well, because when we recorded my stuff, um, we we were only recording the narrator, and then we made the judgment call at the last minute to just decide to do Professor Dokkan also, because we didn't have anyone else to do it. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have anything planned for that, like how I was going to do it. So the whole time, all I did was just hold my nose closed. <laughs> I think you said For it's very every single line. It, it was similar to a Squilliam voice from SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah, I was aiming for Squilliam Fancy Son. Yeah, so if you ever wonder why he sounds like that, that is how he's getting that effect <laughs> and why he sounds so fancy. We just needed a voice that sounded nothing like the narrator because if we sounded exactly like the narrator, it would make it seem like the narrator is the bad guy, which is not what we uh, set out to do. Uh, yeah, it's funny actually looking at the Santa. It's still under the idea of Con- Connell, I think. Yeah, no, no, not Connell. I have Professor Dokkan under the idea of Coley. Which the idea was that we were just going to let him go wild. And... Yeah, the original plan, because he was just fucking crazy, was uh, to just let him riff yeah, for the little... lines. For, that's what, yeah, that's why you needed to get him together with the recording, because you needed to give him like at least some form of direction, but also let him be free of anything. So if you don't know, um, Cole has had a very high reputation of, um, what's the, the right word of saying this, tanking the modcast whenever he was on? He, he was a, yeah, basically. Like he it was would a, just fall, to, he was just like chaotic. He was full chaos, and it was always made for very good episodes that were really funny. Maybe not at the time when we were doing it, we felt like, oh my god. Like, I think he is responsible for the only cut um, episode. The one where the first time the Mew Mew Force ever shows up because you said, we cannot release this. <laughs> we actively- well, yeah, okay, Oh yeah, that was, the, that was like the cursed episode where the entire episode was just, I think, Coley and Toast making uh, Majub jokes. It was the Majub jokes. I think Cole, uh, Coley was talking about like spinning his cock around. <laughs> yeah. Toast, Toast was making the worst team in Dokkan, and he was spending a long time making it because no it, one. Yeah, it was like a thirty-five minute segment. <laughs> I was yeah. like, we we can't put this out. Yeah, and no, and also you were playing Xenoverse two during the entire time. <laughs> yeah. So you so you could actually hear you playing in the background. <laughs> It was such a bad episode, <laughs> and it's a shame we can't find it, because it was horrible. So the idea was for him to go nuts with Professor Dokkan and kind of keep it as much as we can, but unfortunately, couldn't make it, so had to make some changes. I also think for 
um, some of the mod kits. There were actually some other ones I wanted to invite, but I always... This is the problem of doing it in exactly one month. If we had more time to plan, I would have figured out a way to get some other people who were like modern mods and be like, Hey, you can voice this because you are technically one of the one. If you want to do this, feel free to. And you are in a technical second version of the modcast that uh, came afterwards because... <laughs> They had to make another. It had to continue without us because we weren't fucking mods anymore, <laughs> and we had yeah, to be released. Keep doing it. Uh, so I was actually, I think, asked about that. I was like, "We're thinking of doing it again. Uh, how do you feel about that?" I'm like, "Hey, good, good luck with that. Go ahead, go do it." And I was, I think, supposed to actually show up on it, but I was like always too busy, and I unfortunately couldn't make it. But I always wanted to, just to be like, "Hey, I'm not going to be on it anymore. These new people are starting over. If you want to, for some reason, still hear me." Uh, to be released is released every six months or so. <laughs> you yeah, can come once, to my once or twice a year. <laughs> but the scheduling never worked out, unfortunately. But yeah, this Christmas special was so fucking fun to work on. Yeah, it, it was it was stressful at the time, but once it was yeah. done, it was like the best feeling ever. Yeah, once I had it actually done and I was seeing the entire thing, because while I was editing it, I was like going. I don't know if this is gonna fucking work, man. I just don't know. There's so many parts, and I was freaking out about the song for like a <laughs> for a day or two. So many lines being to cut together. So here's another thing that I think you don't see, unless you see it here. I had to actually reuse some animations in some parts to keep characters talking. So here, this right here. Um, in order for it to elongate, I actually made this scene actually longer. And I had to animate just a little bit more. <laughs> there were just some parts of Frosty where I had to actually intervene and be like, no, in order to get what I actually need, this scene needs to go on just a little bit longer. Like, for instance, here, for like the briefest of seconds, Frosty has to hold on to this sweltering face for just a little bit more in order for the timing to, to actually to get work the out. lines out all the way yes and <laughs> it was uh to edit and figure that out and then trying to get it all to work was um stressful as hell but once it actually came out and i got to see the entire thing like i think it was when i actually put in the song and he could hear the thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump and i was like okay i think this might actually fucking work out and then when I uploaded it, that's when I realized, like, because um, I was ready for it to be like, okay, we're not making any, mo I'm not making any money off of this. The people who won Frosty the Snowman, if they consider this their own thing, then hey, they can um, take it. And we, and I actually also took this from a YouTube uh, channel, the entirety of the Frosty special. So I knew for a fact that YouTube allowed Frosty on YouTube. So as long as it was allowed to be up, everything would be fine with me. I didn't need to make any money off of it. It's not the reason we made this. Um, the problem was the second it was released, that's when I realized Frosty is blocked in some countries. <laughs> Which is crazy. Yeah, due to copyright, they're just like, you can't show it to them. And I was like, what? That is so fucking weird. That Why are you like this? Why is the, the copyright hellscape that we live in like this? So that's why there's a, a Vimeo part of it. And I had to very quickly like put that shit up in order to get it out in time. And man, once we actually had... The, the funniest thing ever is that I, I think this is a great sign of us. And maybe it speaks to the consistency of us. When, you, when I finally told you it's good to go, you're free to like hype it up a little bit. The funniest part, which I always felt really bad at, because if you don't know this, that um, uh, one of the inspirations for 59 Gaming was actually the Modcast. Because <laughs> Nolar <laughs> was actually a big fan of the Modcast, and he eventually, when he was like, I would kind of like something like that, one of the reasons for making 59 the way it is is that he kind of wanted to get back that feeling of Modcast of people together doing that. Um, when we started hyping up something that would be big fans for the modcast, I think he actually said like, hey, you know, if you got a pitch for something, we got 59. And I read that comment, and I'm like, mm, if only you knew the dumb shit we had in store. <laughs> no, this would 100% not work <laughs> for what you want. <laughs> Um, because it was just so different and out of nowhere. No one could have seen this coming. <laughs> Absolutely no one could. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was an absolute just chaos. Yeah. But it was great. Yeah, once it finally got out there and people got to see it, I was glad that people enjoyed it. The people who actually voiced in it all were very happy with everything that 
was done with it. And I think this is maybe, um, definitely isn't one of the, my most viewed videos, but this is easily one of my favorite videos just cause it is so, it, it really, you really feel like a lot of the chaotic energy that went into Modcast that went into this. Like there's so much personality, so much weird personality that just can't exist anywhere else because if it existed anywhere else, it just wouldn't be as popular as anything else. But it exists yeah, here. The, one of the funniest YouTube comments on this video is, this is the most niche thing of all time. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And I think it speaks to us. It's like when we started, it was technically a modcast was started as a podcast for a gotcha game that at that time was very niche in the grand scale of things. Now you look at Dokkan and you're like, oh yeah, 350 million, boom, makes so much money, let's go. We get full-on ads on TV featuring Farmer with a shot, and that might actually be Legends. But we get full-on, <laughs> we get full-on ads that appear in Japan, and that just wasn't Dokkan back in the day. Back in the day when we started, it was just a game that we don't know how long it's gonna last, but it seems to be going on pretty good, and we want to talk about it. And to think that that kind of weird cultist stuff would eventually lead to something like this—it's kind of amazing. It is one of those things that's definitely buried in some form of the past, but it is a good thing to kind of go back to and look at. The only thing that I wish um, could have been done is a week if, um, the only thing that's missing is of course, if uh, Hope and GX were able to do it as well as uh, Cole, but because of various things, it is what it is. But at least in spirit, they are there. <laughs> as long as yeah, they were invited what, to it, it it's, they count. It's, yeah, if we asked and they couldn't, and you know, it is what it is. Yeah, had to be done. Don't blame them for it. And pe people were busy. Again, for the timetable that we needed this back in, it was fucking borderline impossible. <laughs> yeah, is... we were literally like, hey, do you want to do this? Yes, great. You have 10 days. <laughs> you ain't got much time. Let's go. <laughs> and I was surprised that a lot of people were able to do it. Um, like I said, one of the ones uh, for right here. Rohan, which was surprising because Rohan at this time, I had to actually go down and track Rohan. Because Rohan had stopped being a mod and he was um, not like in exile. He was just like not around anymore. So, But he was in an episode of um, Modcast. So I had to find him. I think the same thing is true for... Actually, the one person I ended up forgetting <laughs> was uh, Lolagami just because I forgot completely. that We were like in such a crazy time crunch. I just had no time to ask. Yeah, well, and, you know, it, we say time crunch like we, we had a... like. Someone slapped it on our desk and was like, get this to me in a week. We literally didn't make the plan until like after Thanksgiving. And then we were like, well, we got to have it out by Christmas. Yeah. We had it's to get it shit out. Shit show. Time. Yeah. So by the time I remembered, because I was so thorough on everything. And then when I was looking back at Modcast, I was like, shit, he was on. I need to ask. But by the time it was there, it was already like December. Tw it was like already Christmas Eve. So I was like, shit, I can't get it in time. Uh, this is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we're just going to have to keep going forward. I think that is the only person that I forgot who was actually on Modcast. Was like. So if you ever wondered, like, hey, he was there. Why isn't he there? The answer is, is that I had so much people to contact. <laughs> I, some people yeah, there was just... <laughs> no time. It's no time. So, yeah, when I tracked down Bronhan, he was glad to do it. I was very happy. Penta, we thank God he was at home from the military. Because he was still in the military at this time, but he was home for a very brief two weeks and in that two weeks period he recorded his stuff and i was like oh my god that was literally a saving grace that we got him in time and everyone else was you know able to do it and so happy about it but yeah that is the making of this uh this one's gonna this one was a long one because my god this was a long thing to kind of think of and do like i like i told zen when i opened up this file it was like i was hit like a whiff of war flashback it all came <laughs> back to me it's like just oh my terror God. yeah just the pure terror of working on this and editing all this so i wanted we wanted to do another one for this year but i have some stuff going on that i that i didn't feel comfortable that i would be able to do it in time but i think next year i think i'll be good enough to do it i should be in a good enough place that we'll do it and we don't know what we'll do next year we'll still think we'll still think of something to do um, I think the one I wanted to tell Zen, the one I wanted to do most is the weird, do you remember that Santa Claus special where Santa Claus is, was raised by the elves? What? 
Yeah, you don't remember when Santa there was like a Santa Claus special where Santa Claus was raised by the elves and uh, the by like gods and the gods of ancient the forest had to fight evil demi goblins in order for Santa Claus to there was like a war of the realms around uh, Santa Claus. It was like a battle for his very soul. <laughs> no, I don't remember that. It's maybe the weirdest of the stop motion ones, and if not that one, it'd have to be likely Rudolph or something else. Um, we'd have to figure out something. If it was possible, I would love to find something that is actually in the public domain, just to make that bit easier. But as long as I have Vimeo on the side, we could always put it up there. That's actually the biggest trouble with this one, is that now I understand why all those abridged dudes um, stopped doing abridged. Because it really is a ball killer when you release something you put so much editing into, and they're just like, nah blocked <laughs> can't do yeah, anything like constantly yeah i was like oh no nah, shit man they must deal with this shit on a constant basis and then their entire channel goes down i get to do this once a year at best and i am good for it um but yeah i think that's everything you have anything else you want to mention about the special before we go no no it was just a it was a good time a, yeah. a weird send off to a different time yes <laughs> it is. He was the oh, you know what was the other thing? I think we ended up. I don't remember if it ended up being changed. Did we ever keep that possessions as nine tenths of the law kid line in? Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, I think when I said that, like it was a joke because I had heard it a whole bunch, and then when you said it, I think you know that's a race thing, right? <laughs> I said no. What? <laughs> Excuse me. And then we ended up caught. He was like, "Oh no, it's it's something else." I was like, "Oh goddamn, I, I didn't know anything." <laughs> a lot of these lines are in there because, if you ever want to know my specific writing style, it's because it's an old timey thing I heard a long time ago, and I think it's funny to bring it up out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I actually learned the history of it, I was like, "Oh shit!" Actually, there is something. Uh, yesterday we have like a light, some kind of like, not a, like a light parade, but it's like a fairground that puts a bunch of lights up that you can drive your car through. Mm -hmm. Um. And Babby and I went to that, and she randomly brought up the Frosty thing. And she said that she regretted being too uh, embarrassed to record a line for it. That's right, because I she, wanted her in it as well. Yeah, because yeah, for the, she's obviously not a mod, but uh, no. she drew all of the backdrops mm -hmm. for the modcast. So whenever, like the original modcast cover. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, she drew all of those. And originally, Wokey wanted her to, to record something too, and she was too shy to do it. And she, out of the blue... Uh, mentioned that she had regretted that and she wished that she had recorded something for it. Yeah, if it was a tiny thing, I would have 100%. Uh, yeah, because I asked you specifically because she did all those and those were so important and so good. Like, she did so many of them. If you actually go back to the old modcast and look at all the things she drew, it's fucking insane. The only thing she didn't drew, draw were the Pokemon ones that I did for when my me and my friends were on there. I think whenever I hosted, I specific back in the old days, back when you were the main host, whenever I hosted, I did Pokemon versions of it just to let people know Zen is not hosting. <laughs> Um, and then I think for Nano, I drew his, uh, his little dude as like a kid Goku like, so she didn't draw that, but absolutely everything else she drew and including the great days version of the to be released that we still use to today, which is based off of the, um, part four, um, yeah, opening. Four. The opening still mm -hmm. yeah which is really good i like all her all her art and i love that she did everything for it so i i wanted her in there but she she didn't fill up for it but similar to like everyone else like we didn't want to i didn't want to push her into it i didn't want it to be a situation like that so i said okay fine um but yeah if, if she had just been a little bit less shy i would have been we could have found like a she could have done like a just a quick like oh yes no <laughs> that would have been enough for me any, yeah, she any way to get her in there. Definitely petrified of doing it. And then uh, she just randomly brought up that she, I guess she must have seen it again the other day because she mentioned that she thought it was really funny and she wished she had done it. <laughs> um, I'm glad uh, I'm glad that she thought it was funny. Makes me feel proud for all the work we did here. Oh, I should mention, just because I remembered it, when Frosty says kick it, it's a specific reference to a Bernie Mac bit. I had been watching a lot of Bernie Mac's <laughs> stand up at the time. I think when he comes back alive, when he's like questioning the very existence of life, he's like, I have literal days to live, to juggle, to sweep. Oh, well. Okay, kids, I'm alive. Kick it! It's like literally a <laughs> reference to 
uh, an old Bernie Mac bit where he did where he would say kick it and then he would like fucking dance a little bit and then he would stop dancing when the music stopped. He said y'all don't understand. And then I was fucking dying seeing it because he would just literally go kick it out of nowhere and it would start. Oh man. How is there snow and that shit looks like it's 90 degrees? Okay, we can't, we gotta stop. At some point, you have to go. <laughs> we could literally talk about this forever. I, I got 20 more minutes. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we get to do oh it again. Oh my god. I just clicked back to the script. The joke where Santa says that he's never gonna give Dokkan top grossing again if they try to take the hat away. <laughs> and they say, not even for Vegito. And he said, Vegito will get beaten by Coin Master if you ever look at that hat again. <laughs> and then. Professor Dokkan whines about what about in France? <laughs> Not even France. <laughs> that was so specific of everything. <laughs> this is another reference to Kyle God, which is not a modcast bit, but this is your most famous Dokkan video in the entire yeah, world. Yeah, it is by far my most famous Dokkan content. <laughs> oh, did you oh, ever you... manage to get the edit of the 80k? Damage? Yes, I did. did it's you... in here. <laughs> Because he goes, uh, let me see if it's here. Yeah, here it is. Here's Santa dealing 80k damage. <laughs> That's 80 million. Is it 80 million? Oh, whatever. Kyle God, same thing. <laughs> it's 80 million. I just realized I did 80 million. <laughs> That's three zeros too many. <laughs> <laughs> now people are just confused. Where the fuck is 80 million going? <laughs> There's so many, it's like peeling back an onion, there's so much to it here. <laughs> Did we not notice until a year after we uploaded this that that's the wrong number? I didn't even realize it was a wrong, no one brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, that's next year so we'll funny. do a full on uh, uh, director's commentary as we watch the entire thing. <laughs> I'll totally do that. All 50 minutes of it and go through it there. <laughs> Fucking uh, get the Vimeo account on the side again. <laughs> Let people go through it. <laughs> if we ever do that one, it'd have to be, I think. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. But for now, this is enough. If you went through the entire hour of it, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a behind the scenes of something that actually took a shit ton of effort to make. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you guys in the next story time. Uh, got any lasting words to say here, Zen? Uh, thousand only has three zeros. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad with numbers. That's why I don't do. <laughs> That's why I don't do uh, Dokkan math. <laughs> I'm very bad with it. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.